physical cell of the body gets old and die and get rebuilt, them don't know that they don't have a clue. The cell in yeah. the brain get old, die, and rebuild. The cell in the blood, everything, everything. You understand? So what happened is that when you eat, if you're not eating what is known as food, real food, not something that look good and taste good and smell good. It can also be food and look good, smell good and taste good. But it can also be a poison, looking good, smelling good and tasting good. And unfortunately, these are what the people are eating. 99.99% .99 of people are eating these things. And when they're eating these things, what will happen is that the body will suffer from malnutrition. You go and eat your belly full and yet you starve on a nutritional level. You understand me? Yeah. So when you eat whatever you don't, um, when you eat, eat whatever is not made by the creator, the almighty, right? Or if you want to call it nature. When you eat these things that is genetically modified, you won't, won't get no nutrition from them. Stick up in. Stick up in. Stick up in. Um, Congo. Yeah. You just say once you not eat, we provided by nature. Yes. But guess what now? Mm. Remember, people see the thing them I grew up on tree, and see the tree them I grew yeah, out of the are, earth. So how you for tell them say on nature that? Down. Yeah, we're going to get down to that because and the normal, the poor, little regular people, they say, but me grew up as the East Indian, Ray, 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 in the yard long time. Me grew up as the gross Mitchell banana tree. Look how long we have been gross Mitchell down in the gully and them run the house back and the Lakatan and the robust banana them. Look how long we have them thing there. I go tell me, say, them no good grass. Them no grow, come see the, the, the orange tree in the yard and the orange tree there with no fertilize. We no spray or nothing, it's just organic. Yeah, it is organic, but it is not alkaline. So here what happened. I could give them the thing, as we say, we are give them it like from A to Z. Now, these things that we just described, right? The robust the banana, the lacatan, the gross Mitchell, the artinique orange, the parson brown, all these things where you see a grow around your yard right that has not been that has not come out of nature naturally right right you can go in a no forest or no woods in a jamaica and book up an artinic um orange tree you won't go in a no woods or no hills nowhere in jamaica and book up a gross Mitchell banana you understand me because it mm -hmm. does not exist, it does not come out of nature. Just like how you won't go into the deep hills and find aloe vera growing. You won't go into the deep hills and find meat bone or comfort. Re repeat, no, where's yeah. the word aloe vera? Repeat, because Jamaican people are very big on aloe vera, aka Cinco Bible. Yes. What you said about that? Away? You will not go into a mountain or a hill or a bush, deep bush that nobody has been living and find aloe vera growing because aloe vera does not come out of nature so where you try to say to me we are trying to say to me aloe vera not good there no it was engineered from a plant that comes from south africa which is the al aloe vera plant which is tall like the house So when people as a single Bible are cure them and I do them baiting, what, what? Oh, oh Jano. Um, um, black God look like him signal chop off. May I go check the cash up and may I go check the zeal and I see what over there. If we don't know, contribute to the program today, may I go done the program. May I go check them up here and come back. Okay, so there is no contribution to the cash up or the zeal. 
So you know it go already. We have a loan. Because when the man them are wind up and I, and I put on a girl clothes and I wind up them body and I say tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. You know, over there by a lion and whale and shark and something. So if you know uh, contribute to the program, I got a load of knowledge up me. Cause that means you don't really like like on yourself and you don't like me neither. Cause me I bring real knowledge too, you know, and you know I go on like say when you think it hard if you contribute to the program. Me I go low, you know. Me need my add back the genius. Me not add him back. Me just go over my cash up, not even zero zero over there. No make sense. Waste me I waste my time. When you not contribute over here, so we real knowledge just spit on go mix up when you want to contribute to. And Batman business. And Batman in the light. When you not like God pity them. When you not contribute to God pity them. Mm. I go go on. I go go on, Bill. I go go on, Bill, a little bit. I play the two song car. If me not see no, nobody will not start about this. Waste of time. I'm going to take people for video. That song I'm going to play for you now is by two artists where it big already. Zin. The artists are it big. One named Romeo Virgo and one named Assassin. Now, this song produced by Just No Cone. In general, you see me? So, we are going to review that song and the song title, Never Give Up. Romeo and Virgo and Agent Sasko. If you want to hear that song, I put some fire emoji on the screen. First, this I play anyway. And me, I premiere this first. Romeo and Virgo and Agent Sasko. Let's go. You keep on the night. Oh, it's a girl song. It's a love song. Jaja. Just no quote production. You keep on the night. I'm so blessed. 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 I'm so Bull, bull, Romy and Berg alongside Agent Sasko. Just no quote production. If you like it, put some fire emoji on the screen. Ready, 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 ready. Never give up, give up, I'm so blessed, I'm so blessed, so proud to call you my you. Sing around me and Virgo. You should never worry. You should never worry. You should You should never worry. You should never worry. You should never worry. You should if not, not over there, we don't waste your time with them. Them people are too wicked. Yeah, the man never seen all the girl when they live before the glory. The girl will have them back before everything. Shush, 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 shush. 
Yes, people. Make a check the cash up here and that's the layer. Hold on. No, not all now over there. <laughs> oh, but, God. And people are afraid to spend on them good thing, them boy. Make me the over here and I tight some blows and I go on like one gigolo. The amount of things they would have buy, the amount of money they would have show up over here. No, sir. No, sir. No, no sir. I'm dangerous. I'm afraid I don't know. Black God, answer the invite the Black God. Yeah, man. Yes. Yeah, Black God, you there? Good day, I'm on. Yeah, so, um, how would you reach? You there tell them about the different foods now. Yeah. And the fear food them. Yeah, man. So, I say, but put that. You see what I go on still? I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. You see them, where there is guns, where they're concerned with where they put them strength. Don't worry about them, you know, because I'm going to tell you this. Enough of them. See, the universe is intelligent. Most even say the God, because the universe is intelligent. See, and you see, if you don't love the life for the Almighty give you, and you just deal with it any anyhow. When the time come for you to eat, you go grab a cup soup, or you go grab two little garbage out of one shop. But when you come for you go a dance, and you buy Hennessy and Ray, 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 and the big dish with flask for and girl, seeing you know worry how much a buckle, the dearer it is, the better it is for your eye. You see? The yeah. Man and woman in the universe, I watch them, man. I whole heap of them message drop flesh in a foot up. I'm sorry for some of them, but guess what? Sometimes the universe send it so we can't even help them because they reach too, too far. Yeah, and some of them willing to buy your shoes for toes now $1,500. Yeah. But them no one buy medicine. They don't want to spend nothing for them health. They don't mm -hmm. want to spend nothing for them health because they don't even want to buy a pound of wild rice because they must say wild rice too dear. Yeah, so, facts, facts. Say, my lad. So the universe is watching. 
the universe is watching me, I tell you. And no for them hype up themselves. But me hear them in the time, me see them, you know, and they say, oh, oh, my good man, Ray, Ray, Ray. Everybody have to dead. I remember the same pussy them was said that. See the time we come when them to dead, them no one dead in a daddy. Them are the and they never care about living. No, they might the first one. We are run up on the boat and don't want some people on go react. Seagull. Some people on go react to pain. Them not react yeah, to avoiding pain, you know. No, them on go react to pain. Yes, my, my lord. And that's why the Almighty have to do it to him. Do it. And him allow him allow Babylon to take charge and take them over because they don't really love themselves and them don't love the life where them where the almighty give them but guess what no if you feel who love themselves and the people them will really want to help themselves we are gonna give them the information because remember them like a mickle and dime can do nothing for we and the almighty bless we right 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 the peace will shine upon we you see me and cause we to shine and the almighty do that so we still have to drop the information, you know, who, who fear we hear, who no fear, them just can't hear because the thing said funny. You see it? Because then we hear and can't adhere to it because them forget to shoot out in the journey. I don't know the thing said. All right? So anyway, make a out to the foods now. So when me ask you now, saying the group. Rose Mitchell and the Lakatan and the Artinique orange were in the yard from a long time. And I said, but we see them East Indian they are grow boy from a long time and the Julie and them thing there. Those are not real fruits. If you do eat one or two, don't make it no practice. Don't get up every day and go and buy, and go buy another banana or every week and buy another banana and put it in your house and give it to your children. Don't get up every week and go buy these orange and give it to your children. These red American apples, they are very deadly. The yellow ones, them deadly. Not only is that they are genetically modified, but them laden with chemicals. Yeah. You understand? That's why these apple them can't. You know, Jamaican apple. Two, three days, put it on and spoil them apple they're good for years. Years them good for. You can't spoil them, put it up on your table. It dead for years. You understand? It's like a figurine. You see what I mean, say? So, what I'm saying to you now is that the people need to know that whatever they are eating, if it is not giving them one or more of the 102 minerals that makes up the human body, it is not doing nothing for you. And that is not a food. Don't care how sweet it is. Don't care how good it tastes. It is not a food. And if it don't build you, it is going to kill you. you hear me say? If it don't mm -hmm. build you, it's going to kill you. Somewhere or the other. As me say, some of them are telling say, oh, I'm going to eat what I want to eat. I'm the most dead one day. It is a foolish way to live. Because the devil did ask the Christ himself. So, yo, jump off now. Carry on a high mountain and say, jump off. All these things, you know, just example to teach people how to live, you know. Satan said to the man, jump off. It's a story, but the story has a, a, a solid meaning. He said, jump off of this cliff, yeah, because when you jump, nothing can hand you, you know, you are God. And you are God, you know, you know angels are going to catch you when you jump, you know. And guess what? If the man did jump, nothing wouldn't do him see him way, but the man has said, yo, when me I go jump on in the necessary. Don't tempt the Lord thy God. So if you know say them food they are poison, did this say when you pull up in a little place, a pure poison, you go get and pull up in a little place. And you eat it because you say, yo, man, me just want to eat what I want to eat. Member say one day you have to answer to it. A whole heap of sick people we deal with in the foot. Whole heap, whole heap. Some we can save, some we can't. I'm too far gone. Because there is no not incurable people but you have in, incurable diseases sorry but they are incurable patients some people who them mash up them body too much you understand some people we are gone the doctor no one see them some of them the doctor no one see them and we still catch them in time when we can render some service and so help to them and bring them back wrong but some of them we just can't do it 
because guess what? They are too far gone. And I tell you, say, you have a new thing we are run right now through this food situation. Yeah. Boom, they feel one little pain as they run go to the doctor. Boom, cancer, you know. Stage four, you know. And they must say, what? But the last week, we put everything jiggy. And this week, boom, cancer. Yeah. And it's going to happen rampant and rapid. Welcome to the new world. This is the new world we are living in. The only way to avoid that and keep yourself on a positive track and a good track is eating electric foods, foods that is made by God. I'm going to explain to you how it happened and how it can happen. See? So the foods that is made by God, made by nature, are complete. These foods have 102 minerals. Right, not, not sorry, not necessarily 102 minerals, not all foods, right? But these foods will fall under the bracket of the 102 mineral foods, right? So it's either you're going to get calcium, phosphorus, selenium, zinc, or whatever from these foods. You're going to get minerals from these foods. The foods that is genetically modified, when you eat these foods, you can eat your belly full of them every day and you won't get no nutrition. All right. But so Congo, hold on. Yes. Congo, Congo, yeah. when you break it down, explain to them what genetically yeah. modified yeah. is. Because right. a lot of, well, I know, a lot of these people, them impatient, they move fast. Once them hear a word that they don't know the meaning of or understand them, they skip past it instead of going to Google and go word meaning book and look what the word mean and right. apply right. it to what you say. So you have to break it down for them, please. All right. So genetically modified foods. Look now, we are gonna break it down to basic school. So even a little baby can sit down and listen to this. If you're not having a little pit of them, it's good to put the phone on speaker, put them around the phone. These are the things they make on the youth listen and watch. Not Congo, your chip out, your chip out. Your 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 Wi-Fi. Stop calling this damn phone, man. I people in my call, call my phone, brother. You understand me? But anyway, um, you there? You hear me? Yeah, me, I hear you now. All right. Yeah, man. So, genetically modified foods. Genetically modified foods are foods which is not made by nature or God. So, may I put it both ways? Whether you want to say God or you want to say the universe or whatever thing, it is not made by the creator. So these foods, so as a youth growing up, we say, we can't go in the bush and we look and see one stringy mango tree. Jump up in that and eat your belly full. You see one blacky mango tree. Jump up and eat your belly full. See? But when you look now, in the community around and about, mostly, even though you have stringy and black in our people, you see me. But when you look, this is something named East Indian, something named Bambi, something named Julie. But just a give an example where them know. And these things, people can literally remember when these, the older people can remember when these mangoes came about. Coconut again. As a little youth, we used to look for a coconut and wish we get one. And uh, any man can get a coconut, the skillest man in the community, because he have to climb half a mile up in the air to get a coconut. Half a tree, the tree tall. It named native. Nowadays, you have some little jelly tree, and a little tree, four year old can pick it to The little juvenile can just stand up and pick a jelly because the tree is very short. Right? No. This coconut and these mangoes, what we have to know, nature never met them, God never met them. They are GMO foods. So what they do, how they get them, they get the original mango, which is the stringy. Right? Go live. We get the original mango, which is stringy, and they get the original coconut, which is the native coconut. And when they, when they get these original foods, they they splice them with a the next plant. So, all right. So, for instance, the coconut, the tree is so tall. They have to use a plant that is of its own kind. So, they might get a palm tree. 
or a catch, which is a short tree, and splice it. When them use, when them splice it now, them bring down the height of the tree. And then can also splice it up that the, the cup of the coconut becomes bigger. You see what I say? Yeah. But guess what happened? Can mankind blow breath in a man? No, they can't make a human being. But them can make something behave like a human being do. Because them can put something look on it like a skin. And them can give you something will look def definitely like a human being. Him can move and act away, but guess what? It is not a human being. And same way is the food. They cannot make a human being and they cannot make a food. And the poor people don't know this. They can't make nothing that will sustain the human body because they can't make human beings. They are not the Almighty. What they make, when they splice it, what happens, they have to use starch as a binder to bind the molecules, to bind the thing together. And when it breaks down, it breaks down back to the starch. It is not real food. They can't reproduce a plant with the minerals that the original plant have. They can't do it. And these are the things that people don't know. So when they create a GMO, a GMO will make you dead for hunger because you a woman dip on her cycle and she say, yo, you know, some more want some iron and she'll run go buy one dozen or two dozen green banana. She'll make banana porridge. She'll eat fingers of banana daily. See? And thing. And when she look, she hears she anemic. And nobody no eat banana like her and drink banana porridge. Because green banana is supposed to give you iron. But guess what happened? Because the banana we had just go buy is Lakatan or Gross Mitchell. It not have no iron in there. Because they cannot make a food. They can make, the scientists refer to it as Frankensteinian foods. You do not eat them, they eat you. All they need is access in your mouth and they go in your mouth, go in your stomach, break down to a starch and the starch breaks down to sugars and acid. And the sugar will kill your immune system, give diabetes, kill your reproductive system. See, and the acid will take the human body out of its natural alkaline pH range, which is about 7.325. It will bring the body below 7 and bring the body in a state of what is now referred to as acidosis. Acidosis. And, and this mm -hmm. is where this is come in because your body is now more at ease and I'm going to break it down so that the kindergarten can understand the disease. Right? So I could finish up the food part first. So, when you eat animal, when you eat an animal, the animal the body of the man cannot digest and process the animal. To process and digest animal the system, your, your, your digestive system will have to be different from what it is. Human beings were not made with these teeth like the dog have and the lion have with tear flesh. Notice the teeth of the creatures that will run on an animal and just bite him and yam him. They have two long teeth at the side, which when them use and graft the animal and give them a death bite. Human beings have them thing there. Notice the cow and see if the cow has the two long teeth inside their mouth. Him don't have it. Him don't have it. The cow have to grind because grass is not dealing with and fruits and things. You see what I say? The gorilla don't have that. See? None of these animals where a plant-based animals have them thing there. You know? So, the stomach also of the human being. The stomach is very long, the intestines is very long. And for me, go through them intestines, it doesn't work. It might stop somewhere in there and hitch up in there. And because the human body cannot digest animal's flesh, the animal protein, them heavy chicken and them beef and them pork, what happens, it stays in the stomach and rotten. Stays in the colon and rotten. That's why when these people go to the bathroom, and then use the toilet. It's like you can't go in after certain people use the toilet. You have to make that breeze out. Because it smells worse than when you pass the animal with dead at the road. 
It smells worse than these decomposing animals.